A cheating dad who strangled a teenage girl at a secluded beauty spot because she refused to have sex with him was told to rot in hell by her grieving relatives as he was handed a life sentence. Lewis Haynes had spotted Lily Sullivan, 18, while on a night out in Pembroke, but had been told, she's far too young for you, and reminded by a friend that he had a girlfriend. A 31-year-old was later seen walking with Miss Sullivan towards Mill Pond, a dark and secluded freshwater reservoir in the town, after they had been seen kissing. But Miss Sullivan, who was due to be picked up by her mum and had called her to say she was on her way, was strangled to death when she refused the advances of predatory Haynes. He then dumped her body in the reservoir. Her tobacco tin, mobile phone and leather jacket were later found strewn on the ground in the lane. Haynes then walked off from the scene of the crime and even passed Lily's mum Anna, who was sitting in a car waiting for her daughter, before confessing to his girlfriend, I've strangled someone. Judge Paul Thomas QC said. He strangled Lily in order to prevent her telling people he had tried to get her to go further than she was willing. His intention was to silence her. He didn't want anyone to know what had happened in the lane. She must have been terrified. An 18-year-old girl all alone in the dark with a powerful man. She was entirely at your mercy and you, Lewis Haynes, showed her none. You were entirely thinking about your own self-preservation. The court previously heard that Haynes and Miss Sullivan had kissed after meeting in the out-night spot on December 16 and later went to a nearby alleyway together where they became more intimate. Miss Sullivan had spoken to her mum and agreed to meet her at the Green Garage service station in Pembroke. And at 2.47 a.m. the teen told her mum she was just a couple of minutes away. However, at around 3 a.m., a neighbor was woken by a female scream. Haynes then returned to their home in the early hours and said to his girlfriend Macy John. I've strangled somebody, they're in the mill pond. I've been in the mill pond. Miss Sullivan was later found face down and topless in the water. Father of one Haynes later admitted murdering Miss Sullivan, but denied sexual misconduct, something that if had gone his way in court, would have seen his minimum sentence had. Her mother Anna branded Haynes pure evil and said she will never forgive him. In a powerful victim impact statement read to the court by William Hughes QC, prosecuting, she said. The events of the night Lily died go over in my mind constantly, and I wake up in the night picturing Lily in the water wondering if she knew what was happening, if she was scared. I wish I had stopped Lily going out that night. I picture the male responsible for Lily's death who I saw in the garage and wish I'd confronted him. Knowing I was that close to her, I wish I'd gotten out of my car and walked. I will always wonder if I could have saved her. She called her only daughter beautiful inside and out, and a forgiving kind and loving girl who loved music, was a talented artist, and had been robbed of her future. Haynes was handed a life sentence with a minimum of 23 years and 4 months. Judge Thomas said Haynes brutally murdered Miss Sullivan because she did not want to have sexual intercourse with him. As she made arrangements to meet her mother Haynes got frustrated, forcibly removed her top and strangled her, said the judge. The judge continued, precisely what happened in that lane will never be known because you have chosen not to tell anyone. At least, not to tell the truth about it. Miss Sullivan's family and friends shouted rod in hell and monster at Haynes as he was taken down to the cells. In the weeks leading up to Miss Sullivan's murder, her social media accounts had contained a number of poignant posts about misogyny, sexual violence and women being killed by men. One of her Instagram stories contained a photograph of floral tributes left for Sarah Everard with a sign that read. She was just walking home. Another post several weeks later listed 80 women who had been killed by men since Miss Everard was murdered by Met Police Officer Wayne Cousins. Others included words such as men shouldn't be making laws about women's bodies, maybe not all men, but all women, and a guide on how to recognize if you have been spiked. Following the conclusion of the case, Senior Investigating Officer Detective Chief Inspector Richard Yellan spoke to the media on the steps of Swansea Crown Court. He said, on the evening of 16 December 2021, 18-year-old Lily Sullivan enjoyed an evening out with friends and never returned home. In the early hours of the following morning the violent and predatory actions of Lewis Haynes took the life of Lily. Haynes passed numerous opportunities to seek help for Lily when fleeing the scene of his crime. His selfish and cruel actions have changed the lives of all those who knew and loved Lily and the close-knit community of Pembroke. The life sentence handed down to Lewis Haynes today ensures that he will not be able to harm others in the community. Dive Pouse Police and our partners will continue to work tirelessly to bring to justice those who perpetrate violence against women and girls in all its forms. This sentence is no consolation for Lily's family and friends, but I hope this will be a step forward in the slow process of rebuilding their lives. Today, my thoughts are entirely with them. Rest in peace Lily Sullivan.